be home to Florida's first Earth ship. Tires, glass, bottles, and cans are all being used to build what could be a future Earth ship school. ABC 7's Judge Dowdrick is in Miami City with the story. Check this out. This is the first ever Earth ship inspired self sustaining building in the state of Florida. And once it's finished, this building will be completely off the grid. <laughs> A city, you'll find this, and eventually, this all of these sandbags will get plastered, and the entire tire walls will get plastered, and they get some layers, and then they get a finishing layer, and it gets painted, and it looks like a normal, a normal cemented in wall. Earthship 360 is salvaging the structure that has been sitting vacant for the last eight years, but soon it'll be a home for simple, sustainable living. Our focus is to reuse, but also reduce our impact. Um, on the environment and, and use, you know, whatever, what people may call trash to build with. The main component, old tires. There's literally piles of tires, miles high, burning in other countries all around the world. Like they just get thrown into landfills. Those tires are filled with earth, forming 400 pound bricks. The team is using shells and sand and to make he, cement and yeah. bottles and cans to form structural walls and windows. Uh, we got pretty lucky because there's a lot of supply out here, but if you just go out on a trash day like on CST where I live, then you see all the bins are full of wine bottles, beer bottles. The crew finds all of the supplies within 100 miles of the project site, and they're teaching while they work. Everything from how to mix um, concrete, with uh, local seashells and sand from the beach to how to uh, install gray water systems so that we can uh, recycle water and put it into our in-ground planters. When finished, this earthship will fully serve itself. This project and the property is privately owned, so it's really up to the owners to decide what they use this space for once it's finished, but the hope is that it'll be used for educational purposes. In Mayaka City, Jess Daldrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News.